now that I'm finally done editing my sequence in standard definition, what I'm going to do now to export this to YouTube is I'm going to click on the sequence, I'm going to right click, export using QuickTime conversion, I'm going to name the clip, and under options I'm going to select a few manual settings. So as far as standard definition goes, we change the kilobytes per second to 1500, click OK, size, now this is kind of important, what we want to do is go down to custom, uh, what we're going to do is put 854 by 480. This is the proper letterbox size for YouTube so it can play widescreen videos. What I'm going to do now is change the sound to AAC. Click OK. And all you have to do now is hit save and then there you go. Right now I'm going to show you the best settings to actually upload your video to YouTube. I'm going to show you the high def one right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my sequence in Final Cut. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go to export using quick time conversion. Once that loads, uh, you basically just want to save it right now. I'm save this as Gettysburg. And you go down to options, settings. Since this is HD, I can actually upload this to YouTube in HD. So I'm going to manually select my settings for that. First thing I want to do is change the data rate. Right now I'm going to put in 3,000 kilobytes a second. Click OK. Next thing I want to do is size. Now YouTube's actually had some problems playing back in HD, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually choose the 720 setting in HD for QuickTime. Since I shot in 24, I want to de interlay source video. Click OK. As far as sound goes, I'm going to change this to AAC. Click OK, and all I have to do now is click OK again, and I can actually save this, and QuickTime will actually convert this for me.